Welcome back to my channel, folks. Poetic does it, and today I'm doing whole cooked crawfish made by Jeans Market. Now, I've been looking all over the place for these Jeans Market's crawdads or crawfish or crayfish, whatever you uh, call them, depending on where you're from. And they've been hard to find, so I'm glad that I finally got some. And today I'm gonna have some smoked sausage with them and some corn. Now, I'm gonna Add some salt to this water here. This is the water I'm going to get to boiling so I can add my corn. And I'm going to add a couple of turns of that. This is a... Uh, can you see that? Yeah. Pink salt. Himalayan pink salt. It's pretty good. It's not too salty either. It's way better to me, in my opinion, than the Morton salt. Uh, what I just did, if I had that had been Morton salt, that would have been salty as hell. But I like a little salt on my corn. Nothing wrong with that. But I like to salt the water first to get that a boiling. And when it gets boiling the way I like it, I'm going to go ahead and drop my corn in there. All right, check that out. Look at those bubbles we got, you guys. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. That's so wonderful. And the two corn. Now the instructions on the crawdads, or crawfish, or crayfish, wherever you're from, they suggest that we... Put these on a microwave-safe dish. Cook on high for three minutes until heated thoroughly, stirring occasionally. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is, I got this here. This is one cup of water. I'm going to put a cup and a half. Let me add a half here. A water to this pan here. And the reason why I'm doing that is because when they boil... I want to get like the seasonings off the crawdads and have a nice broth here. Now they're already frozen as we see. Now when they, you know, defrost while they're cooking, the seasonings that's on them is going to create a broth. And I want to be able to take that broth and when I pull the tail off, and anybody that knows how to eat crawdads, when you pull the tail off and you suck the head, I want to get that nice spicy Creole seasoning that's in there already. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these open. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in there. Look at that. Oh, that beautiful bright red color. I see some of that? Some of them seasons still in the bag. Now what I do like to do is kind of put a little water in the bag and pour that in there. But what I don't want to do, I don't want to dilute the seasoning that's going to happen. I don't want to dilute that sauce that's going to, or that, that broth that's going to happen after these get to boiling, because then it'll be watery and not really seasoning. So, because it's a big bunch right here, yeah, I'm going to get a little water, just enough to break up that little, that little area right there. Yeah, I'm going to shake it. Yes! And look at that. That's that broth that's going to happen. That's going to happen anyway once these get to boiling. Now, you might be saying, where the sausage? Well, they right here, baby. What I'm going to do is, mm, I'll just take one sausage and cut it in half. I'm going to go ahead and get these open. And these sausages, um, they're skinless. They're actually already cooked. So I'm pretty much heating them up. A lot of people like to maybe, you know, saute them and get that, that nice little... Uh, sauteed skin on it. I'm good with that. I'm just going to cut this in half here. Right there. Toss them on in. So as they're cooking, they're going to cook with the crawdads. Now if you're curious to what they look like, here you go. It's, it's covered in that seasoning. But there you go. You can see that. And then we're going to eat the tail part here. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Delicious. Now, with any type of fish or shellfish that you eat, this is like a shellfish. It kind of looks like a little lobster. Kind of like a mini lobster. Let me find what the claws. There go one of the claws there. It's like a mini lobster. A lot of people are like, ew, gross. I'm like, oh. But it's like, nah. It's like a mini lobster. And like with a lobster, you eat the tail. Sometimes if the claws are big enough, because I know one spot that got these, the claws are huge. You actually could pull the claws off and eat it like a little lobster, but not these in this case. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there that there has both of the claws right there. See? Yeah. That's a crawdad. Crayfish. Crawfish. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that to boiling. I'm going to place a top on it. Let me grab a top. And I'm going to let that get to cooking. Now, this doesn't take long at all. I'll give this about, because they are frozen and I do got the water in there. Um, I'll say, well, because the sausage is in there and they won't overcook unless you put them on super high. I recommend put it on medium high. Uh, cover it. Let it boil. And what's going to happen as it boils, you want to check it often. You know, you don't want them to overcook because then they'll be chewy. Or some in some cases, they're overcooked. They'll be mushy. You don't want that. You want a nice firm tail. So what I recommend is give it mm, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And sometimes it depends on the sizes too. But I'm going to check back frequently to make sure they're doing good. And like I said, the sausage is already cooked. They're smoked sausage. They're already cooked. And if you don't believe me, check the instructions out there. If you can see it, they're fully cooked. Yeah. So... Don't have to worry about that, so we're just pretty much warming the sausage. I see my corn is over there boiling, if you can see it up there. Look at that boil! So shoot, by the time this gets done, the corn should be completely uh, warm through. I'm going to add a pat of butter on there, we're going to get it popping. Alright, check out that boil, folks. Now what I'm going to do, grab a spoon here, so I can stir Oh yeah. Sorry about the steam steaming up the cam. You see how the liquid got? Yes. Make sure the ones on top get engulfed in that nice broth there. And I want to taste the broth. Make sure I didn't dilute it too much. Now you see I put a cup and a half. And that looks like way more than a cup and a half of water I put in there. So that's the broth. I'm going to give it a taste. I'm going to blow it because it's hot. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's a spicy. Ooh, wee, yes. Now, again, just in case I didn't say it, for all you folks that are concerned about blood pressure, let me bring this bag right back to you. Now, I might have shown you earlier, but just in case, that's the uh, nutrition facts there for you. Right there. And this is not for the faint of heart. When you do it this way, it's really spicy. Now, I can imagine how spicy it is when you do it in a microwave according to the directions. See the directions there? Yeah, so it's already spicy with the broth, and I bet you that it kicked that ass without the liquid broth, because then you're just pretty much, you know, sucking it down. All right, let me toss this in the garbage. Okay, so my corn's looking good over there. This is looking good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn this heat off. All right. looks so good like I got some of that broth on the sausage on a crawfish or a crayfish or a crawdad like I said was well, sometimes with these here they're big enough you can pull a little off the little uh, pincher part off there like you would a lobster and you can pull out some meat there's a little bit of meat there I just mainly eat the tail I suck the head for the juices and the flavor and some people actually open this part up and I guess there's meat on the side that as you can get. I'm cool with that. I don't I'm not interested in that part. So what I'll do is tail some here, suck the head. Real easy to do. If you're not into spicy food, I don't suggest you get this particular brand of crawfish. Now you can get crawfish in different flavors, I'm sure, but this particular flavor is a Creole seasoning. And it's spicy. It's real spicy. It's that spice that makes you cough. The cough lets you know it's working. You can see the spices right there. Let's see if you guys can see that. Floating in the water there. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yes, 
yes, yes. I tell you, if you got a stuffy nose or anything, that will sure knock it out. Let's get this ready to pour. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Just enough. See the juice at the bottom? You got a nice amount where you could just dip. Make sure you stir them up to get them all incorporated in that juice. And again, caution, these are hot. Now, I wouldn't recommend jumping into them now because as I'm doing like this, I could do a little touch on the shell. But if I was to crack that open, ooh, your hands would be burning and everything. Don't do that. All right. We're going to pop those in there. Do my sausage. I done buttered up my corn. All right, look, got to crawl that boil for you. Now with the time that's passed for me pouring these into the bowl and getting my corn and sausage situated, these should be cool enough for me to show you guys how to crack them open and get to eat. What you're going to do is, you want the tail here, that, twist, and pull. Now you might be like, oh my god, no biggie, pull that out, there's your meat. I don't prefer to eat that. So you might want to have a, a plate on the side. I like to peel it too because it's like a shrimp. Some shrimps have that you know what up in the vein. Take that. Move it on the side. Dip it in there a little bit. There's your meat. Delicious. Real good. Now for this, take that. Put the juice in there up the head real good <coughs> it's that spicy now like I was saying there's a little meat here too if you're lucky you might be able to pull it out I wasn't so lucky let's try this one nope it ain't big enough a lot of times you can get the meat out of there too so this is all done I'm about to get it in again to make things easier for you while you're eating, it's best if you have a little bowl or even like a little bag on the side next to you so you can make sure you're not rummaging through them looking for a whole crawdads. You can go ahead and get through them. I'll go back to this one. And toss them to the side when you're done. So you can see what you got and what you don't got. All right now, let's get the grub on. This is going to be delicious. <laughs> 